It's not just Filipinos. It happens. It can happen in any country. It can happen in any country. Don't let don't let them get away with bad behavior, guys. It's not acceptable. Hey guys, thank you for joining me. Another video. Okay, now I gotta talk about this because this happens happens to a lot of guys actually and you got to be extremely careful because there are a lot of Filipinas that are open and honest for the most part that's how it is but then you got those ones that will have a bunch of kids four or five kids somewhere in the province and then have a husband too in the province and will come to the city or go to a different province and have a full relationship with you. You gotta be careful, guys. You gotta be careful. So there's ones that'll do that and that'll scam you online, but for the most case, that doesn't happen. I'm talking about for you guys that are physically coming here. They'll get you here so they can talk to you online, get you here, and then they'll actually take it further. They won't just go you, because so I'll, I'll tell you what happens. This is what can happen. Now, that Filipino can get money from you, get you out here and ghost you. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the ones that take it a full step further than that, guys. There are a lot of things you have to look for. I'm talking about the, the ones that'll get you here, have a full relationship with you, be with you for a year, two years, or say you're one of those guys, you're not like me. You want to come and be in the Philippines for like four or five months at a time. You'll come here. She'll be with you and then you leave three after three months and then she goes back home to her family now guys they are there are tons of women that do this and a lot of times you'll never know you'll never know if you accept if you don't accept red flags you'll know and there's ways that you can see those red flags guys you got to look for them you got to look for them for instance ways you can see those red flags or say you're in a situation where you're here, right? And she always seems like she has to go, go leave you and get on the phone. Okay, if she has to leave you and get on the phone, that's a red flag, all right? You need to be like the, be like the uh, NBI on that, you know? Hey, who are you leaving the phone to talk to? You know, actually get her to talk in the phone, on the phone in front of you and talk to the people she talks to. Because if she's leaving and ducking you to have conversations, that's the number one no-no, guys. That's the number one no-no. And it happens. And, and the thing is, is that for the most part, most Filipinos will let you know. And I know there may be a lot of women that come to this video. I'm not talking about you, okay? I'm not talking about you, but I'm let, I have to let the guys know that don't understand how it goes down here. Because a lot of guys don't. A lot of guys have wet behind the ear still, you know, have never really experience women that much where they're from you know and then they get here and for that for that matter those guys need to contact me you definitely need a consultation we need to talk i'll make a book soon on it on things to look out for and i'm really i'm really gonna do this so you guys can know what to look out for but um still you need you need to call you need to email me email me to black filipino at gmail.com i'll help you you can tell me your situation and we'll talk about it we'll schedule a consultation but other than that still guys this happens, and a lot of times people will say, oh, well, Jay, they, they will say, oh, well, you, who are you to talk about it, right? No, I'm a person that has been in that situation before. I, there's life before K, you know, life before K. I've experienced situations like that outside of K, and I had certain, how can I explain? I had cert, a certain code I had to follow, and you guys got to be like that. If a woman is outside of that, it's a red flag. Don't deal with her, okay? So you gotta stand close. You gotta stand to that. You gotta stand to your your your, your morals and codes, and you have to, because then you won't have these situations where you're going through problems with women. Even like a lot of guys, like see, a lot of times you have a lot of other guys that'll tell you, "Don't date online. You meet better ones here." That's true. Still, with the same on that same note, on that same token, you know, you come here. You can be a player too. You mess around, get here, and then won't know what to find because then the woman can still be all up in your face 
and you still got a bunch of kids. You see what I'm saying, guys? So it doesn't matter if you're dating online or if you're here, it still can happen to you. Because women do it all the time. Like you got a lot of women that come here that, that'll come to the city and <clears throat> they do it already because they, they come to the city, they'll go work in the bars and they have the kids in the province. They do the same thing for relationships, guys. They do the same thing for opportunities. So many people live with kids in the province. You know, you just got to make sure they're open and honest with you. There's a lot of guys that they know the situation. They'll know that the woman has kids or they'll know the woman's going through a divorce or they'll know the woman is not divorced because it's so hard to get divorced in the Philippines, you know? Hey guys, this is the brand here. Fawkes Tony, make sure you get your shirts today. Now, it represents your journey going to the Philippines. As you see here, this shows a man running from the U.S. to the Philippines. I also have shirts on foxtonomy.creative-spring.com that shows a man just running to the Philippines without running from U.S. Of course, I know everyone's not from U.S., so you can definitely find a shirt that fits you. Also, uh, for autonomy, it means the false state of feeling independent. And you know, most people feel they're independent, like they say, okay, I feel safe in the U.S. or U.K., wherever you're from. But they don't understand, of course, nowhere, else, nowhere is safe in the world. Of course, a lot of these other places are not as safe as the Philippines, you know, so you'll definitely be safe here. So guys, don't fall for the, uh, for the fake blanket that's pulled over your eyes. Go wherever you want to go. Why can't you leave to the Philippines right now? That's how I believe, guys. So that's my, my state of Fox economy. I feel the rollers in. And, you know, the Rolex to Philippines on a small level, I don't think that ways, guys. I don't let borders hold me back. Definitely get your merch today that represents you and how you feel. This shirt represents how you feel in your journey to the Philippines. Go get your shirt today. That's the thing, too. So if you're a guy that's coming here and not looking to get married, okay, you may be able to deal with some of these women. Because for the most part, guys, I'm not telling you to take that risk. For the most part, you won't get in trouble because no one's reporting it. I I'll be honest with you. No one's reporting that you're, uh, you know, you're with someone that's married. Because a lot of times, you know, it's a situation where she already broke up with the husband, but they, they haven't gotten it done in paperwork yet because it can be expensive. It can be very expensive, you know, and um, a lot of times they can't afford it. And you don't want to be the one to say, you know, hey, I'm going to pay for this, this divorce to happen. But hey, if you're a guy that has the money and you really want to marry the woman, then so be it. But still, guys, you got to be careful. Look out for the red flags for those women that do this because it can happen. And I just want you to keep your eyes open, okay? Because a lot of times this happens. Like I have a guy and I'm still going to tell his story. I'm going to do a, uh, I got to write a script though. That's why it's taking me time. I have to write a full script for me and Kay. And we're going to act it out, you know, and I'm doing videos every day, so it's hard. But I have a guy that had a situation like that where he was helping a woman out, okay, and she, 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 had, she probably was married here, had kids here already, and he's, she's robbed him and didn't necessarily rob him, but he kept sending her money here to the Philippines and he got done dirty. You know, and I, I don't know the full story, but I'm, I'll tell the story in a later vlog when I act it. But yeah, guys, I'm going to act out the story. So be tuned. I want to do that next week. So maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, I want to do that video. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for that. But still, um, you know, a lot of situations happen, guys, with, with these guys who are not, their heads are not wrapped too tight as far as they don't see situations a mile away. There's a lot of guys out there, and I know a lot of you guys are watching, that see these things a mile away. Guys, you can't bash, and I'm not bashing you because there's some guys that don't know. They, they're just not socially aware, you know. They're not used to these situations and the games that women run. Or they're too nice. Or they're too nice. That's why I made these videos before. Hey, don't be too nice, you know. Because you get caught up in these things, and it happens to you in the States, too, or wherever you're from, Canada. You get ran through. And I call getting ran through by getting done dirty by women. And... You get ran through and, you know, you come across and you're straight beta and the woman that pass you around because they don't need you. They never have sex with you. So don't be that guy here in the Philippines because they will deal with you, but they'll rob you, too. You'll, you'll get robbed, too. And they'll do the same way you're getting done where you're from. So, guys, definitely stay on your P's and Q's and look out for the red flags. Like that one red flag I said there was a big one where, you know, make sure the woman's talking in front of you. Make sure she's not 
walking away from you and talking or the phone rings and then she's looking at you because she got to make sure her husband could be calling. You never know. So you got to make sure, you know, she's there with you when she's on the phone. So, guys, that's a big one. So, yeah, guys, stay on top of it. Stay on top of it. Don't ignore the red flags. Don't just push it to the side. Because a lot of times a red flag will be in your face and you'll say, hmm, and you don't, you don't worry about it. You pass it off like it's nothing. Oh, I, I don't want to be a pest. No, women to take advantage of that. You got to call a woman out. You got to call a woman out because she'll take advantage. And it's not being a pest, guys. It's not being a pest. If you're her man, it's not being a pest. You have to, you have to demand, and it's going to come across wrong to some of you guys out there. But, you know, this is, it's going to come across wrong for the guys that are soft. And that, that's just real. But you still, you have to demand certain things a woman shouldn't be with you, guys. You, why, is, why are you hiding for? Why are you, going, why are you walking away from me when the phone is ringing? There's a reason. Yeah, there's a reason. So, guys, don't ignore the red flags, okay? Call out the situation when it happens. Especially if you're here. Especially if you're here, you're online. Okay, you can't call it out. But you're here, you call it out. Because... Man, think about that. Imagine if you were talking to this woman for a year and then you get here and she's leaving you to talk on the phone? Come on now. Guys, get stronger than that. Be stronger. All right, don't let these women get away. It's not just Filipinas. It happens. It can happen in any country. It can happen in any country. Don't let, don't let them get away with bad behavior, guys. It's not acceptable. Just for all you guys that are dating online. Dating online, it's, it's not easy, I'll tell you. But, um... You definitely got to make sure you, you have the, all the, so, the social medias. You got to get that. You got to get that. Like almost right away. What's your Facebook? What's your Instagram? Yeah, you got to get all that stuff. You got to know exactly who the woman is. You got to look into their, their, who, who their friends are. You see what I'm saying? Because there, a lot of times in the Philippines, there's girls here that have hot girls summers too. <laughs> you know, it don't just happen. It happens here too. So you got to be careful. I mean, what do you think the ball girls are doing? There's girls that out here that'll be that go to ball girl areas, go get some money, and then you know, then they'll get a regular job. But you know, I, it happens here too. You know, and I would love to get a story from someone that did it. You know, because there's Filipinos that do it. But um, yeah, guys, you got to be on top of these things. You got to be on top of it. It's no joke here. It's no joke. And with the pandemic, you know, women are more thirsty and hungry. Because the pandemic hurt a lot of people here. And I don't, I don't, I'm not bashing people that do it. So if you're watching this video and you're a scammer or you do this, I'm not bashing you. I understand. It's hard out here. You know, I feel bad for the guys. The guys shouldn't be allowing it. It's the guys allowing it to happen. So if it's happening to you, it happened to you, it's your fault. Maybe it was a red flag that happened that came across and you didn't see it. Or it's your fault in some sort of way. Because you could have ignored something. You got to be on top of it. But all that being said, guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to tune into the next one. See these shirts here, guys? This represents your journey. I got the shirts where it shows the man running to the Philippines. Or if you're from the States, it shows the man running to the Philippines. The fox economy represents the false state of feeling independent. You may be feeling independent here. But you can be independent, you can be independent here as well, too. You'll find out now soon. You'll see how I did it soon. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, see you next video. The Black Filipino TV. Over and out.